Hong Kong. I was born in Mundilan. It's a small place located in Magelang, Central Java. It's like seven or eight hours from Jakarta by car and one or two hours from Yogyakarta by car. And Muntilan is where Borobudur Temple is located and it's famous because of that. But other than Borobudur Temple, you can also find other tourist attraction there. Like, there are a lot of temples like Borobudur Temple, Mendu Temple, and the smaller one, Ngawen Temple. And you can also visit other tourist attractions other than temples. Like, you can visit Gereja Ayam. It's the tourist attraction that got famous because of the AADC 2 movies. And then, you can also visit the Putuk Stumbu. It's the place where you can see a beautiful scenery of Mundra city and Borobudur temple from above. It is famous for the scenery of the sunrise and sunset. And what I like the most of uh, and my hometown in Mundilan is that it's a relaxing place to live in. Mundilan is surrounded by a lot of mountains like Merapi, Rebabu, Sumbing, and Sindoro so you can still feel the fresh air and it also has a comfortable weather and you can enjoy the scenery like rice, rice fields, uh, mountains, and other plantations and then you can enjoy a lot of delicious food too in Muntilan. And the most famous one is Kupatahu. Kupatahu is a rice cake served with fried tofu, veggies, and then with peanut sauce. And it is really delicious. And you can also visit a lot of tourist attractions, like I said before. There are Orgul Temple, Mandu Temple, Noen Temple, and then Gerja Ayam, and Puntuk Stumbu too. And then the main issue in Mundilan is the public transportation. Mundilan has one of the biggest Buddhist temple in the world. It's the Orgul Temple, but it doesn't have a proper public transportation. So I think the government should make a proper public transportation to travel there. And Mundilan also have another tourist attraction that is not connected to each other. So if the government make a proper public transportation, maybe like a bus or other public transportation, it can connect them and make it easier for the tourists, especially foreign tourists, to travel in Muntilan. And in the past five years, Muntilan doesn't change much. The main reason Muntilan is changing is because of the modern exposure. Yes, Muntilan became more modern since, the, since five years ago. Uh, a lot of people like build a cafe or a tourist attraction that is not really necessary. And sometimes it destroys the nature. But yeah, it's still the Montelan I know since I was a child. And that's it.